Data tables or sensitivity tables are a powerful tool for scenario analysis. Let's walk through how to use them in under three minutes. Let's look at an example of where you would want to use a data table. This is an example of a very basic financial model. Revenue flown down to EBITDA and then a purchase price and a sale price. What we are looking to calculate is the multiple of invested capital and the IRR based on this potential investment. This is a simplified example with no leverage, no cash flow generation, just to show the mechanics of how a data table works. In your top left cell, you want to link to the output you are trying to get. So in our top example, we want our multiple of invested capital. It pulls up this little table. It asks for a row input cell and a column input cell. Your row input cell will be your row or your top. So we link that to our entry multiple. Our column output cell will be our column. We link that to our exit multiple and hit OK. First check is make sure your middle cell equals your output, right? This seems to work. And I, what I can do is really quick check. So if I put nine here, what I can do is double check 2.07. That equals entering at nine, exiting at 10. If I put nine here, 1.86 again, enter at nine, exit at nine. So you're able to double check that your table is working correctly by toggling the inputs in your model. If I change these back to 10, I can do the same thing with my IRR. So I'll take the top left cell and I'll link it to the output of my model. I will highlight this full cell and then maybe instead of clicking up there, I want to use a shortcut. Alt A W T will give you a data table. Your row input cell will be your row, your entry multiple, your column input cell will be your column, your exit multiple and hit OK. And now we have our table. If we want to check this, we can see what if we entered at 10 and exited at nine, we would have an 11% IRR, which ties with our data table. Key thing I find people mess up here often is flipping the row and column input cell. So if you're not getting what you think, double check these. Easy way to remember it is your row input cell will be your values that are in a row. So the ones that are in multiple columns, but a single row. And your column input cell will be the values that are in a single column, but multiple rows. Very important to understand these. And so for our entry multiple that is in multiple columns in one row, we select our entry multiple. And for our column input cell, we want our exit multiple as it's in multiple rows, but a single column.